Welcome back guys in this lecture we'll see how to add this beautiful and useful product slider using the WordPress WooCommerce product slider so for that come back to your dashboard and hover here the plugins and click on add new now basically want to add a new plugin to enable that feature now in the search plugin just type in WooCommerce product sl slider and select this one WooCommerce product slider by pick plugins now click on install now and click on activate after you do so you'll see an additional tab over here which says WCPS which stands for WooCommerce product slider so from there hover that and click on new WooCommerce product slider or new WCPS okay now here we have some options some different type of things now we'll see how to set up everything over here basically it uses a short code i'll show you how to use a short code but let's first see the options over here it asks you how many product do you want to display uh, on the desktop so let's come back to the demo website and as you can see there are four different products which are shown over here so we'll uh, make this four instead of three and similarly you can select for tablet and mobile and there are many different changes whether you want autoplay or not you can if you want you can select true if you don't want you can select false and if you want autoplay then what should be the speed okay so you can select everything from here the animation and so on everything can be selected from here now coming to style there are different type of styles like flat zoom in and so on you can select your own style whichever you want okay there are many uh, settings you can see all the settings uh, there are not that many uh, important settings I would recommend to keep this as same okay again just leave this thing then you have elements now because element basically means what all do you want to show in this product for example whether you want to show this add to cart button or not whether you want to show this thumbnail or not whether you want to show the title or price so you can select manually what you want to show and what you don't want to show for example when you tick mark this thing the thumbnail which is this one the image won't show okay so we don't want to hide that obviously now let's select this let's maximize this and make sure uh, the size of the thumbnail is set to full okay May, make sure it is set to full so we have the thumbnail we want the title we don't want the excerpt so just hide this we don't want the category because as you can see we don't have the category over here if you want you can have it we don't want the category we don't want the tag we do want the price we do want the rating we do want the card button uh, if there is sale yeah we want that if it is featured we don't want these things so we can hide this on front end okay fine you can also make some changes over here add to cart background color text color and so on but first let's see what changes are taking place okay first click on publish now what we'll have to do is we'll have to copy this short code and paste it on our website so let's copy this come back to the front end scroll down and in select this plus button to add a new section click on regular now select one single column so select the first one now we want a very simple module so select text this one and over here make sure you are in the visual section so click on this visual and paste the uh, shortcode which you have just copied and click on save changes and refresh the page to see the changes now as you can see guys we have the slide over here don't do anything over here because uh, it will it won't show if, you, if it is not showing uh, in the visual builder don't worry it happens sometime that's not an issue but it will show on the live page so don't worry about that but we have successfully done that here as you can see only three products are showing this is because the visual builder is on uh, if we see on a live page we'll see that all the four products are showing okay 
now let's see where, how this looks in a live page so for that what you do is just cancel or exit this visual builder now we'll see how it looks on live page okay so let's scroll down till now everything looks fine the slider the info box section this section all this section looks fine totally all uh, good this section is also looking fine and as you can see ultimately the slider option is also looking fine the dot navigation is also there the arrow navigation is also there and it is looking very very nice okay so we have successfully completed this one and if there is a sale product we get you know you see this thing because we have enabled that so we have successfully uh, created a slider product slider which is very very important if you see in amazon in flipkart you see this thing is very commonly used a slider product slider is very commonly used so this is helpful in the next lecture we'll see how to create this icon slider and in the later lecture we'll see how to create this newsletter which is very important okay guys so see you in the next lecture